Alrighty, what is going on everybody? It's another episode of Walker Adventure Media. On today's episode, we're gonna do something a little different. I've been waiting to share this with you guys until the weather got a little bit better. I, right behind me, as you can see, we got this beauty here. Got it for $300 on Facebook Marketplace. This is gonna be our overlanding trailer. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to bring you guys along. The whole goal of this tra trailer is not just to weld it and build it. I've seen a lot of different videos. Everybody seems to weld their trailers and that's fine and good. I personally don't have a welder. This, this is my shop. It's my backyard. Um, so this trailer build will be a little bit different. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do a no weld trailer build. I'm gonna be using bol bolts, nuts, and, and anything else I can find to make this trailer go together. Fingers crossed it's gonna be sturdy enough. Um, I could get access to a welder, but I kind of want the challenge. So you may be asking yourself, like seriously, why are you doing this? I'm kind of asking myself the same thing, but I really wanna see if I can do it. So this will be a no weld trailer build. I wanna do something to where anybody could build this trailer. Um, as long as you have a drill, some basic tools, you should be able to build this um, by the end because I don't have anything special or fancy um, by any means. And so everything that I'm gonna be using is something that you can do at home. I'd love to see what your projects are. And so feel free to drop those down in the comments. Tell me what you're working on. Um, I'd love to see what, what you guys got going on. So without further ado, let's get to it. So some measurements have been made. We're gonna make the cage 20 inches tall. Then we will make each bar 49 inches long. That should give us enough room to put everything in and out. It'll also make the top of the tent about here on me instead of being really, really tall. Like we could put it, we could make it like way up here, but I'd like to be able to see the top of the tent from just standing. I'm 5'9", so that means we're gonna have a short little trailer. So I'm thinking that we'll be, that this will be about as tall as we'll go. I think that'll give us plenty of a cabin space underneath to be able to store like totes and bins and do a kitchen and everything else. Um, and then we'll have a bar that comes right across the top here um, and then enclose the whole thing. I think this is gonna be sweet. So I'm gonna keep building it out through with PVC pipe and we'll go from there. How's it going guys? It's another day working on the trailer. As you can see, I've got quite the mess going on right now. A couple days ago, I cut out all these PVC pipes to kind of test out and see you know, how much metal will I actually need because PVC is way cheaper than metal. So I decided to build, basically build the whole trailer out of PVC pipe first, just to kind of roughly see how much metal would I actually need. And good news. The metal came. So I got all the, I got a couple of beams. Um, we'll be using this is two by two inch steel, um, and then we also got a bunch of. Uh, this is going to be the floor and the outside um, sheathing to go all the way around the outside of the trailer. So for today's uh, project, we are going to be working on just tearing tearing the whole thing apart. We're gonna strip everything down, uh, just get it down to the bare frame. I wanna clean the whole frame and wire wheel it down to the bare metal. Um, I also need to take off all of these little tabs here where these posts have been um, inset. So that's kind of the project for today. I think this trailer's in pretty decent shape. You can see there's not really much rust. Actually, there's like no rust. Um, I think it's been pretty well taken care of, uh, taken care for, and so I'm I'm excited to really dig into this project. It's it's great. Before doing anything else, I wanted to clean off all the junk that had accumulated over the past couple weeks on the trailer. There was a lot of trash and just random odds and ends. I found the right socket and started taking off all the wood slots on the side. here is actually not even attached so this is gonna be really easy um, I'll probably cut it down into chunks just so it's more manageable but that's it for the demo today all 
Alrighty, we just got back from lunch. And so I just kind of blew off, it was kind of a mess over here. So I blew off all of the sawdust and everything, stacked up the wood real nice. Now we are going to cut off all these little brackets here. Uh, we're just gonna take a grinder and just hack those off. I think there's eight of them. That'll be what we do next. Then I'm probably gonna have to run to the store, get a wire wheel. I'm still debating if I really wanna clean this up. We'll probably grind it. I don't really want to, but we'll probably grind it um, down to the frame, at the very least on the top, and then we'll just recoat the top because that looks where uh, the rest of the paint looks like it's in good shape. So we'll probably just do that. Okay, let's just cut off some brackets. I think that as far as today goes, I think that's kind of where we're gonna stop. I'm gonna kind of clean up. It's kind of crazy that we're, we've are we been here. I've been thinking about this for months. And so to kind of come to see the bear, bear trailer frame, see kind of what everything's gonna look like, I'm, I'm excited. This is gonna be great. Thanks for watching everybody. Go ahead and click the subscribe button to see the final product, um, to kind of watch this build. I think we'll break it out into several videos here, um, just step by step. Again, this is just a budget friendly. Anybody can build this. I have never built anything out of metal before. This is my first time doing any of this stuff. If I can do it, you can do it. And so if you wanna watch me either struggle through <laughs> or um, just learn how to build stuff, um, out of metal you know we'll kind of learn through it to walk through it together i'm hoping to any tips or tricks you guys may have to kind of do a no welding trailer build so i'll keep you posted every step of the way thanks for watching